A little over 25% of the septic systems we install in Delaware are LPP septic systems. We're going to join a job site today. We're going to look at all the details of LPP septic systems and show you how we install them. LPP septic systems start just as any other septic system start, and that's with the septic tank. And the septic tank needs to be connected to the house with a sewer line. Here you can see that we're installing the septic tanks, and we're going to connect the house to the septic tank with the sewer. That's the stub out of the house there on the right, and we're going to go ahead and run that sewer line and connect it to the septic tank. The septic tank serves a very special function, and that's to separate the solid material of sewage with the liquid material, and then the liquid transfers over to either the drain field in a gravity systems case, or in this case, we're gonna transfer it over to the docent chamber or pump chamber. But first, we have a septic filter on the outlet side of the septic tank, and all septic systems in Delaware have these nowadays. This prevents any solid material from making it out of the septic tank. Here you see the docent chamber or the pump chamber, and we'll get a look inside here and look at the septic pump. The engineer specifies the size of the septic pump, but the installers usually generally pick the quality or the brand of pump. We usually, or almost always, go with a Gould's pump. They're tried and tested and basically bulletproof. On the right side, you see the float tree. Those floats tell the control box what water level is inside of the docent chamber. In Delaware, all pressure systems are time dose, so they're only allowed to come on at certain times during the day and for a certain amount of time. But those floats will tell that control box if the water level is high enough for the system to run. So from here, we pump the water out to the drain field. And in this case, it's an LPP drain field. You can see we're hard at work at getting this drain field around. This drain field or LPP drain fields are a little different than most other drain fields. You can see uh, we have our guy standing in the manifold trench. The manifold is the center or the end part of the drain field, and it connects all of the laterals or the trenches or the fingers, whatever you want to call them. And the, it supplies all the water to, to each of the, the laterals. Um, and he's gluing the fitting on the manifold. In this case, it's a center manifold. So we have laterals going each direction. We have a lateral going to the top of the screen and a lateral going to the bottom of the screen. The biggest thing that separates LPPs from other styles septic systems in Delaware is the trench width. As you can see, it's 12 inches and that's very specific. It can't be any skinnier and it can't be any wider. Most other like gravity trenches and pressure dials trenches, they're three feet in width. Uh, and the stone depth, the stone depth is only allowed to be nine inches, whereas gravities and pressure dial systems and mounds, they're all 12 inches in depth. So that's a very big difference. Pipe size is determined by the engineer. It's uh, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to inch and a quarter. And I'd say most engineers use one inch or some engineers use three quarter inch. Uh, once in a while, we'll see inch and a quarter. Here you can see he's putting tie bar on top of the stone or landscape fabric. That helps keep the stone clean when we're backfilling. Uh, one of the other big things that separates LPPs from other systems is the very small orifices that the water comes out of these pipes. We have to drill uh, usually 5 30 seconds holes, but it's somewhere around that size. That's a very small hole for these laterals. LPPs are much more sensitive to abuse or, or lack of maintenance. And for that reason, they can be subject to premature failure if they're not treated properly. So if you have an LPP, make sure you get it pumped out regularly. I appreciate you guys joining us for this video and we'll see you next time.